Hey, hi, hello, welcome back again to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the facts on carnivorous plants. Most of us know carnivorous plants from movies. They have been in a ton of movies over the years. But the most memorable is probably the Little Shop of Horrors. Carnivorous plants have also been featured in Jumanji, Journey to the Center of the Earth, Invasion of the Body Snatchers and many more movies. There are over 700 species of carnivorous plants around the world. Carnivorous plants are found all across the world on every continent except Antarctica. If you're like me, you probably assume that they only grew in damp swamps and jungles, but you would be wrong. North America actually has the highest number of different species including some of the most famous varieties. They are as follows, Venus flytraps, pitcher plants, sundews, butterworts, bladderworts and many more. These cunning plants have been known to dine not only on insects but arcanids, mollusks, worms and small fish. Even amphibians, reptiles, rodents and birds sometimes fall prey for them. First, they attract unsuspecting victims with such deceptive methods as colorful leaves, enticing scents and sweet nectar. Next, they trap the victims with a variety of grisly methods including sticky hair, greasy or strategically cupped leaves, sharp thorns or leaves that snap shut like a beer trap. So here are a few interesting facts about these carnivorous plants. At number 1, carnivorous plants have evolved at least 9 separate times. Through the course of evolution, plants have stumbled across the carnivorous lifestyle at least 9 different times. They have even evolved a whole diversity of trapping methods, snap traps, pitfall traps, sticky goo and more. These traps are made of leaves, highly modified specialized leaves. At number 2, they have pretty flowers too. Meat-eating plants don't just woo animals for food. They also need to attract insects that will spread their pollen. That's why many of them have colorful flowers. To make sure the pollinators don't actually become dinner, the plants often hold their blooms high above the leaves and well away from the traps. At number 3. Some of them have tentacles. Several plants catch insects with sticky tentacles. Some of them keep their tentacles motionless. These include Australia's rainbow plants, which are named for the way that the sunlight glints off their sticky goo. Others actively wrap their tentacles around their prey. These include the sundews, which are also named for the way sunlight glints off their sticky goo. One sundew, Drosera granduligra, goes the extra mile. Its tentacles snap when touched, catapulating prey into the sticky center of the leaves. Some have pitfall traps. Many plants catch their foot by setting out pit-shaped traps and eating whatever falls in. It's a popular technique that has appeared at least six separate times over the course of plant evolution. Why doesn't the prey just crawl out of the trap? The pot-shaped leaves generally have particular adaptations such as downward pointing hairs that make escape difficult at best. A lot of these plants like the pitcher plants in the genus Nepenthes contain pools of water that drown and digest their prey. At number 4, some carnivorous plants have snap traps. The most famous type of carnivorous plant is probably the Venus flytrap. Its trapping method looks pretty simple, a bug walks in and the leaf snap shut like a set of green jaws. But how does the plant know to clamp down on insects and not just, say, dead leaves that fall from above? It turns out the Venus flytrap can count. Its gapping mouth is full of little trigger hairs. When an insect touches a hair, a timer is set. A crawling insect will probably touch another hair, at which point the trap is sprung. Once five hairs are triggered, the Venus flytrap starts spewing out digestive liquid. There's another less famous plant that uses a similar method to catch its prey. The water wheel plant is basically an aquatic rootless Venus flytrap. It eats tiny swimming critters and closes its trap incredibly quickly, considering that it always has a mouthful of water. At number 5, some use suction and some have sticky leaves. True to their name, the aquatic bladder warts are covered in little bladder-like traps. The outside of the bladders have trigger hairs. When a swimming critter touches a hair, the trap springs open and sucks them in. These bladders work so quickly that the scientists need cutting-edge high-speed cameras to capture the action. 
Above the water and far from the carnage, the plants make beautiful, delicate flowers. Butterworts have flat, sticky leaves that function like a cross between flypaper and a stomach. When insects land on a butterwort's leaves, they get stuck in goo that's excreted by sticky glands. The plant releases digestive enzymes and absorbs those tasty bug nutrients. So that's all for today's information on the carnivorous plants. So hope it was so much interesting. If you like, do hit the like button, share among your friends and those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe for more such interesting videos. So see you again with some other interesting videos. Thank you.